You may be watching this video because your scimitar mouse or one of your Corsair mouse is actually dropping the drags um, when you go and drag something and create a big box like this or when you might be dragging a file it just drops it. Go into your IQ software and then grab your mouse and then go to the surface calibration. If you're having major issues when you go and calibrate this mouse, it will just drop the clicks. It just it won't even drag. So if you try and drag this, it will just, it won't stay. It'll just drop it like this and it'll go calibration process was interrupted. Now you may need to fix this by opening your mouse. And uh, let me show you how that's done. Firstly, what you gotta do is Unplug your mouse and then you need to take apart the sticker pads on the bottom. Now I suggest either using a small pair of pliers for um, peeling them off and you'll notice that there are actually little slots for you to peel. Once you have done so, just uh, either peel off only what you need or peel off and put to a side so you don't get dust on them. And then you just need to unscrew the four screws that are on there. To take it off, you lift the mouse button from the front. So left, put your hand on the left click and the right click at the very tip, and then just lift. And then it slides off after that. So just be careful of the wires, of course. Once you're in there, you'll notice that there will be the triggers for your left click and your right click. If you have a look, you can actually notice that the triggers are okay. And you can test this by using your finger to press the button yourself. And then you'll realize that they're actually still working and not a hardware issue. So what is the issue? The issue is your mouse lid. It's probably slipping or have slipped off the, the trigger. If you have a look at this, picture you'll see that there is a small nodule on this piece of plastic here and that needs to be pressing on the trigger. So the fix is simply firstly clean up all the debris in your mouse and then fit it back in so that it fits properly. And once I did that it was all working again. If you really want you can put something there and it's a small piece of something, maybe a little bit of tape or a piece of plastic. I'm not too sure. I'm not a big fan of doing that um, because it's working for me right now. The fix seems to be just taking off the lid and then refitting it so that it's sitting on the trigger again. To put it back in, just put the front part of the mouse in first and then close the lid down and you'll just be able to gently push it back down without too much trouble. And then screw it back in and test the mouse again using surface calibration like so, and just see if it's dropping your clicks. It shouldn't drop your clicks anymore.